need. System event notification. Um, this service sometimes is uh, handy to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the service and change the uh, startup type to, do, to uh, manual. And that way if the entry still needs to run, uh, it can run, but it will not run during startup. TCP IP Net BIOS Helper. Go ahead and have a look at this entry. And uh, Net BIOS is an older protocol, so I'm going to go ahead and it's I don't use it. I'm going to go ahead and stop the service and change the startup type to disabled. <clears throat> Telephony. Uh, this one I'm going to leave to manual but I'm going to go ahead and stop the service and here I'm glad this came up uh, this will notify you if the service requires another service to run uh, it will have to shut down both of the services uh, go ahead and tell it yes wait for the other services to close then in your startup type select manual and OK. Terminal services. Uh, this is another uh, entry uh, unless you actually uh, use terminal services on a network you will not need and I'm going to change this entry uh, of course you can review here it shows started you can uh, go here and see the other entries uh, it's saying that fast user switching is uh, showing so let's go ahead and uh, write down terminal services where we stopped off go back up to fast user switching of course it uh, shows it's disabled here it, it may require a restart uh, before I'm able to uh, disable that so I'm going to go ahead and change the terminal services startup type to disabled and select OK. Whenever we restart that that service will not start back up. Okay now would be a good time to go ahead and reboot. Uh, remember where you left off which once again if you're writing down the entries as we're going through one by one you'll know exactly where we left off. Uh, once again, to reaccess the services interface, you'll need to go to Start, Run, and type in the services.msc and either select OK or hit Enter. Uninterruptible power supply. Okay. Uh, most people don't use uninterruptible power supplies. Uh, they're rather expensive. Uh, if you have one, you, you will know that you have one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, if the service is running, stop and uh, change the startup type to disabled. Volume shadow copy. Okay, here's another entry. Once again, this is currently not running on my computer, uh, but I am going to go ahead and change the uh, startup type to disabled. If you need to stop the service first, go ahead and then choose disabled and OK. Uh, web client. Okay. Uh, here you can read a description. It enables Windows based programs to create access and modify internet based files. Uh, if the services stop these functions will not be available. Um, if you do a lot of web based uh, authoring I would leave this service enabled. Uh, I do use that but I'm going to go ahead and stop the service and change the startup type to manual 
so that it does not run during startup and will only be used whenever I, I am authoring web, web pages. Okay, uh, once again uh, on the volume shadow copy, um, thinking about it now, um, rather than disabled, I am going to switch this to manual just in case uh, uh, the uh, entry is needed. And then I'm going to select OK. Uh, let's go ahead and move back on. Windows Image Acquisition. Uh, this is not uh, typically used and is pretty much uh, using memory. Uh, the program is not needed uh, currently, but it may at some point. So I'm going to stop the service and once again go ahead and select the startup type to manual and select OK. Windows Time. Okay, this is a synchronization service. If, if you turn this off, it's not going to disable time on your computer. If you do have your computer uh, synchronized with a, a, a network time server, uh, you, you may need this entry. Um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and disable it as I do not have my computer synchronized. So we'll stop the entry, change the startup type to disabled, and select OK. Wireless zero configuration. Okay, this this entry is once again for wireless network cards. Um, I don't currently have one on this machine, so I can stop this service and set it to disabled. Um, if you do have a notebook uh, you're using this on, uh, go ahead and uh, set the entry, or if you have a uh, a desktop machine that has a wireless card in it, go ahead and set it to manual, uh, but I will be setting it to disabled. Okay, WMI performance. This service is probably running on your computer. It's not needed during startup, but may be needed at some point. So you can go ahead and stop the service and change the startup type to manual and select OK. Um, that is the end of the services. Uh, go ahead and restart your computer once again. If you need to review any of the information, this video is available. Uh, you can pause, rewind at any time to review what we've gone over, but the uh, best tool you'll have is the list of the entries we have uh, uh, disabled or set to manual that if you need to reverse those you can do them a few at a time as recommended uh, at the beginning of the video to do a few at the time restart your computer check your programs and all the services you use and if you run into a problem uh, you can go ahead and re-enable those a few at a time until that service comes back and then you can go ahead and disable the ones that aren't causing the issue